Hey guys, I'm Shark back playing and doing or showing you how you can carry every single one of your games with quadruple burn brand mid in season 12. So like usual guys, if you enjoy finding helpful, make sure to smash the like, comment, subscribe. Those are the runes we took. Dark Harvest, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, Biscuits, Time Warp. Those are the runes that's there. And in this lane, we're playing against Pike, pretty medium difficulty matchup. So uh yeah brand where we're gonna get our burn our passive ignite and we're gonna go leandry's with shadow flame we might throw in demonic embrace later on but leandry shadow flame is gonna be most likely the go-to and pike is uh a laner i feel like yeah it just usually tries to prioritize roaming more than anything else so i have to be careful i'm actually drop a ward here so that way i don't get ganked more important than not dying oh man the screen's flickering weird probably because of the render maybe i don't know and now we slow push the wave yep warwick put some damage on pike we're leaning towards top side since we know that uh warwick is bot side Path away. Drop the W. And Warwick's coming. Look, right on the ward I placed. Right on the ward I placed. I knew it. So I could react. Now, sadly, I still had to burn a flash. But again, I have to slow push the wave. Have to. I can't just freeze or like let Pike hit level 2 first. That doesn't work. Need to slow push the wave. But that ward I placed stopped me from dying. All right. Oh, Master Yi dies to Warwick. Unfortunate. And I want to tire dive the. Want to tire dive the Pike. Well, I'm gonna need. I think I can do it. I'm gonna need to land the stun. I think that's enough. Yeah, it is. We can tower dive and we just need to land our abilities and execute. Upon it, we want to recall since we can't take tower platings pre five minutes because of the tower plating gold. Warwick will clear mid and it's probably going to freeze outside of my tower. So that's that start we want. Good, good, good. Brand mid is an interesting one. Definitely. Did I cover the runes yet? I think I did. I did. Yeah, I had to. He's, uh, I mean, he's pretty solid. He's just like a standard mage. A lot of burst. Good AoE. Thumbs up. And I never want to freeze. I never want to freeze on Pike. Or have him shove in the wave since we know that Pike... Pike ends up being able to roam if I do try to freeze slash just get shoved in. So you always want to have the way pushing towards him at all times. But it leaves you getting prone to getting ganked. So there's drawbacks. But it is the most efficient way to play against assassins for the most part. Unless you're really far behind, then you have to just freeze it and try to farm. But yeah. The gank setup with the Pike. We have to be careful. The gank setup's too good. Ugh. I didn't even mean to press W there. I am so scared though. Like literally. Yeah, I knew it. Why did I just know it? It's like <laughs> I'm psychic, by the way. I just like it's like I'm scripting or something, bro. It's I know it. I have wall hacks. I just had a feeling something fell off. Alawi gets a double top. That's good. And if we are going to solo kill Pike again, it's probably going to need 
probably going to need uh, Ignite, which is up in 24 seconds. Oh, the tower plating there. It's whenever he goes for a minion, that's when we want to toss out our W. Ugh. I think he has the base. Yep, yep, yep. It's going to be a fight within jungle. Mashi hard loses early game against Warwick, but if it's a 2v2, it seems doable. I'll go one for one. I'll take it. And we get the Warwick Splash. Oh. It's the most contested lane in the game. It's one of those champs. It's kind of like Galio. Pike has a hook and lockdown. His E. His CC. So if Warwick comes mid, it's very likely I'm dead. Well, that's fine. We just want to play for every fight we can. Since... <laughs> Allow, he's taking a roam. Get him. Nice. Well played. Well, I do think he should be going top side. Malawi should be going top side so Aikshin doesn't take too many tower platings. Alright, shove, shove, shove. Lost chapters, brands. Big power spike early on. Kind of like basically any mage. And he's going the buffed Hex Drinker. Alright. Interesting. I think he's looking for a recall, so we're just going to try to make him lose as many farms possible. Yep. Warwick's bot side. Fine though. Where do he go? Every time he looks for a minion, drop a W. And I mean, we can play this game. We can play the farm game since if ahead in CS, mages will do more damage than assassins. But ah, since I have. I'll just look for the roam. We'll probably make it work. Are you serious? Ah! Oh. All right, it's not gonna work. That's so painful. So painful to see. To be fair, it's Seraphine support. Seraphine support, Master Yi jungle. No, actually, I think it's just because Master Yi. I'm being honest. I know Zuri's. Some trash early on. I'm not gonna lie. Her champ sucks. Like literally, her champ sucks. Need some time to scale. It's just Master Yi holds no weight. I don't know how, but it's just true. He even got his. What was it? It was like a rework. And it's a buff. I guess his early game is weaker since he's going a page I don't necessarily agree with. He's running Lethal Temple with Flash. When I personally run Hail of Blades with Ignite. Which gives you a strong early game. So you can actually play for it. Play for the fights. Pike is roaming top I think. Yup, yup, yup. That's what this champ does. 
Oh, he got shut down on him. And it's literally, that's Pike mid. Doesn't do anything laning phase wise, but just roams. I think I got him here. Yep. That's brand mid. That's that type of damage. It's also because we had ignite for the anti heal. Another tower plating there. And I'm gonna get enough gold for the Andrews. A variation you could do of this build is actually getting Ludens. That's more for the burst. Lee Andrews is more for the burn and consistent damage. Oh, minus one. And yeah. Ticks good against tanks. Oh, the render just finished. Nice. Ludens is more for burst and for squishies. And since Pike is opting for MR, Warwick's kind of tanky. It just, I mean, it's all around good. The percentage damage. Merc treads. Ill. And then Zuri also gets tanky with HP later on. Pike looking for a roam? Possibly. In which we shall shove him in. I'll drop a word topside to see if Warwick's coming. Oh no, I... He's coming for the counter gank. Yikes. I got first tower though, so... Guess that's good enough. It's kind of obvious that I pinged that, but so be it. We're playing towards our strengths, which is playing for CS and then a strong mid-game team fight. Pike's playing towards his strengths, which is roaming early on in 2v2s. Like, we can't do anything about it. But the mid game, we can't influence. We actually can roam top here, though. After we take tower. Action should be a dead man. Man. I hate Action. Even after all the nerfs he's gotten. He's just so annoying. Wow, the tentacle got the kill. But that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. We'll take this tower with him, so we'll get a... Yeah, we'll get the gold worth of that kill. And now we'll look for the resets. Ah, uh, nah. I do... Yeah, I do think Sorks is just the way to go. I've seen some get Lucidity boots, especially if they only have enough gold for Lucidity. Lucidity is nice. But Sorks gives you that burst. Gives you that damage that really synergizes well with your uh, ulti and passive. Alright. Man. You got him. Not How did I get it? I don't even know. But we'll take it. Bro, go top lane. <laughs> what are you doing? Just go top. Split push. Why is he shoving in mid? Ah, oh, so bad. Whatever. You can't control what these idiots do. You can only control what you do. That's the type of mentality you have to have in league. And now we're going to try to look for a flank. Do we have a team? No, we don't. So disgusting. Like, really? Come on, team. Let's do something. I got 1v2. They're bot lane. Nice. Should be a kill. Ugh. Cute. Nice. And I think that's a live because of triumph. Good job. 
You gotta play for what you can control because sometimes teammates don't even listen to pings. Is what realistically should happen is Alawi stays top, shoves it in, and then I influence mid and bot. I can influence mid, bot, or top. He split pushes, take top tower. And we spread our gold evenly. You never want to have two carries in one lane. Because then if he comes mid, Aishin can go top, shove up, take tower or tower platings, and it's just a way for him to get back into the game. It just doesn't make sense. Alright, see what Aishin builds. <clears throat> Master Yi. Oh, you're just taking a little bit. I don't mind. You had a rough early game, to be fair. The roams are happening, bots. Before I do decide to roam, I always shove in bots. Or always shove in mid. So that way I maximize the amount of farm I get. It's free tower mid. I'll take it. Just guaranteed gold. In which we can team fight with. And our tick damage one shots the back wave. Nice, nice, nice. See what's happening top. I don't have Ignite, so I don't think I can kill Warwick. But I can counter gank. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I can't. If it's a goal, okay, my goal in the first place, I didn't expect them to check that bush. But I wanted them to go towards the Lowy, and I would turn it on them. It would be a 2v4, but we would actually win. Because of how everything was set up. Let's see. Zonia's versus quadruple burn. Five times burn. Honestly, Rally's is solid. That's <laughs> that's the thing. It's kind of overkill for demonic when you can just go like Rally's. Zonia's is solid again, but I'm thinking more damage wise. We'll see. Rally slow is nice. I'll get a blue ward, why not? More recording. I am. Nice. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, they're getting a lot of MR too. Huh. Yikes. Not fun. Especially when our whole team is basically AD. It's only for me. Only for me. It's good for my team, but yeah. me, it just means less damage. Good thing we're going a percentage build. It's supposed to be based off the yeah, percentage damage instead of. Percentage damage. Instead of actual burst. That's good. Pike. Sushi. Oh man, that's damage. That's damage. All right. My God. The fuck was that? <laughs> oh no, it just makes sense because we were able to farm consistently because we were able to get tower platings, lots of gold and such, we have a massive XP lead. That's what happens when you don't AFK fight. And that's what, you know, we're a mage. It's kind of what we want to go for. Just farming up until we can team fight. You're dead. Ugh, bummer. And I think this game, I'll just go demonic for more percentage damage. Demonic embrace. Five times burn. It's solid. Grants 14 more AP. 
Gain 2% of your bonus HP as ability power. Not too bad. Now we can just group it up and we can't lose. Or we shouldn't lose. Okay. Unfortunate moment. Oh! Man. Oh, I, I, I did get the Nami too. Ah, they were all camping a bush for me. Ah, they got me. Should I get... At this point, I'll just get Sweeper. My team should be able to clean it up. No? 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 Okay. We win groups, team. I got an assist on Pike, which is nice. Without a doubt. At this point, I'll just go like Zonia, since they all want to focus me. It does make sense, but... Mm. Oh, so low. If I was there, my Dark Harvest would go crazy. I have 17 stacks. All right, well, I guess I'll play towards where Fog of War is. Clear wards and then try to look for picks. I'm trying to take Warwick's blue buff, to be honest. I know it's up, yeah. That's gonna be a kill. A lot of burn damage. I wanted to save the Ignite for Warwick, but it is what it is. They're all bot. They're all bot. I hit no one. I think Seraphine's able to escape, though. If Warwick does ult, I'll just Q. Got one. It deals quite a bit of damage, not gonna lie. Got the stun off. Chain CC. Got the shutdown. Where's Pike? Pike just ran. Kinda nuts. Pike just ran away with W, I guess. I mean, we're built for these team fights. I think that's enough with Dark Harvest in the. And I got Zonius. Just in case. Cover me. Thank you. We just hard win. Because as long as I'm able to dish out my damage, I deal too much. Without a doubt, I'm doing the most. And we're just peeling back, kiting behind our tank slash bruisers, and then we're winning. Can we take it? Alright, we got it. Got Zuri with a Q. Nah, I should recall. Ah, uh, they're all top. If you can take inhib, nice. Yeah, allow you can take inhib. It's just not worth to throw our gold lead if we die, because we have objective bounty. Allow he doesn't. That's insane. <laughs> what the hell? That's one v five. Oh man, Riot Games, man. It's brain dead company. Can't balance anything. One v five. <laughs> ah, he can't get it. Come on, Zuri. He's gonna lose the game anyways. She could have just gave the penta.
Just tragic. I'm trying to take mid inhib though. And since Brand is short term range, typically they have to come to you before you're able to. You know. Combo them. Uh huh. I'm gonna drop the R on him. Didn't even hit him with it. Alright, let's get it. Bam. That's why you play brand. And just like that, I think that should be the game. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, man, that should be enough. That should be enough. Are you serious? Oh, they're fountain. W and then Zonius. That way they can't focus us. And literally. Just deal the most DPS. And that's how you win. Dealing the most DPS. And making them burn. Like, comment, subscribe. That's how you 5x burn brand mid in season 12. Catch you in the next one.